Jacket US Store video series number one. Jacket competition swimsuits, wear and maintenance tips. Hello and welcome to the Jacket US Store video blog. This is our first video blog post and from this point out, we will be regularly posting about interesting topics relating to the world of competition swimming, our athletes, jacket products, and a lot more. And hopefully in the future, we will maybe even be able to get some behind the scenes videos at the Jacket Production Factory and interviews with athletes that we sponsor. But for now, let's go ahead and dive right on into today's topic. So today we're here to talk about competition suits and how to properly care for them. Competition suits are truly in a class of their own, but it isn't always easy to determine which is the best solution for our personal swimming needs, seeing as how every one of us is completely different. It can be complicated to understand the differences between specialized competition suits and regular bathing suits. Elastane, also known as spandex, and lycra are two of the most common materials used to make competition suits. These materials are used because they generate very little friction in the water and render the contact surface as smooth as possible, such as this surface seen here. These fabrics have a negligible thickness, nearly the width of a single hair, which is part of the reason why these suits often give the swimmer a remarkable sense of improvement. So whether you want to be the next Federica Pellegrini or simply love competitive swimming, we would like to give you some advice that we hope you will find useful in order to optimize the durability of your suit and also your results in the water. Ciao, Fede! The following tips regard the maintenance and the careful storing of your suit. Tip number one, before the race. Only wear your suit for the time that is strictly needed. It is fine to even put it on just 20 minutes before the competition. In this way, you can reuse your suit many, many times. Despite the fact that our competition suits are structurally resistant, they could still be damaged by seemingly innocuous things. For example, by a fingernail that is too long. So we advise, especially for people with long nails, to wear gloves as protection from the second that you begin handling the swimsuit. It is not advisable to use talc abundantly it really would be good practice to use the least bit needed. Once you are wearing the suit, cover it up with shorts or a skirt so as to protect it from any external risks. And always pay close attention in any case to whatever you lean up against. Tip number two, wearing and washing. The plates in the pool, which can be seemingly comfortable, could also cause damage to your suit. If you look closely, You'll notice that the surface is rough so as to provide grip for your feet. So be sure that you do not sit anywhere in the pool on the steps, against the wall. And if in order to exit the pool, you need to cross multiple lane lines, don't try to pass over them, but instead dive and swim underneath to avoid abrasions to your suit. Once the competition has ended, avoid casually continuing to wear the suit if it is not entirely necessary. The suit will need to undergo a special hand wash at the end of the competition with care given to the following special requirements. The wash must use cold water without chlorine under a delicate stream of water as too much water pressure could cause stretching of the fabric. But we know that water by itself might not be enough to eliminate all of the chlorine present from the pool. So next, we advise you to fill a large container or a sink with cold water and to add a neutral liquid soap for delicates. You don't have to have the rubber duckies, only if you really want them. Using powdered soap could be risky in this type of wash because it might not dissolve completely and therefore not fully clean your suit internally and externally. Now, we know it's not always possible to do this immediately after a competition. So in these cases, as soon as you're finished, rinse the suit with cold water and then wrap it in a soft towel until you get home. Absolutely do not put away the suit in a plastic bag if it is still wet. And once you have arrived home, just follow the hand washing method that we've just described. 
finally, under no circumstances, use a washing machine, dry cleaning, or bleach when cleaning your suit. Tip number three, drying your suit. When drying your suit, it is not advised to wring out or rub the suit with a towel after the wash because this can cause the fabric to unravel after a certain period of time. Instead, it is best to always air dry your swimsuit. The air drying phase must be completely natural, meaning without the use of anything that emanates heat, so no exposure to sun, radiators, dryers, etc. We advise laying the suit horizontally rather than hanging it during the drying phase to avoid the weight of the water pulling down and stretching the structural integrity of the suit. And if the suit happens to dry with some creases, don't even worry, just re-rinse it and dry it again. Don't use an iron or anything like that. And with each competition swimsuit, you will also receive a small cloth bag. Consider this bag like the sheath of your sword. Would you ever put a sword in a plastic bag? Well, then don't do this with your suit either. This is because by doing so, you would risk the formation of an unpleasant musty odor. Always remember, in the pool, your suit is the most important external element of your body, so it is best to always keep your suit in a fresh and dry place when you're not in the pool. And we must also always keep in mind that chlorine can cause corrosion and take preventative actions in order to assure long usage and great performance with your jacket second skin. Your suit is highly personal and it takes on the exact form of your body even from the first time that you wear it in the water. And so in order for the suit to remain molded to your body, don't let anyone else wear it. It's only yours. Tip number four. Finding the suit to fit your needs. The creation of an ideal competition swimsuit goes hand in hand with great tailoring methods. It would probably be every athlete's dream to have their own suit personalized and custom made to their own specific measurements. But not always having this option, we must make sure not to just buy a suit that follows the latest trends. So don't be fooled by bright colors. The key factor is that the suit fits tightly but comfortably, but it shouldn't be too comfortable. It's really a fine line. If it is loose and really easy to put on, it probably won't do you much good. The job of a good competition suit is to compress muscular mass. And so this is why if the suit does not adhere perfectly to the body, this effect is in vain. A large swimsuit has the potential to keep water inside of it and can create a so-called parachute effect that can dramatically limit your performance. Think of this happening to your swimsuit while you're racing. <laughs> Not exactly desirable. <laughs> so for inexperienced or less serious athletes, we advise suits that are more flexible and easier to put on. For, you will have plenty of time to enjoy a performance suit in the future. There's no need to rush into it before you're ready. So to conclude, we hope that you have found these few simple pieces of advice to be helpful in the care and keeping of your suit. We hope that our athletes buy a jacket swimsuit to truly expand their ambitions, not just because they happen to need a new suit. Our versatility and knowledge in the field of swimming is always at your disposal. So remember to read our blog, share it, pin it, tweet it, do whatever you want. And don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter for weekly updates. We are Lena and Constantine, and we will see you on our next video blog post. Bye-bye. Ciao, ciao.